Hello, my name is Prue or Prue Lou, and today I'm kind of excited to do this, but I did my first Shop My Stash video. I bought this cute little Coles thing, and um, of the products in here, I'm wearing two of them, so that's kind of kind of a win, isn't it? I thought it would be fun to take you through like a little review of all these products. I have quite an extensive collection of makeup. And my favorite thing to do with my makeup is to wear something different every day. I don't think I, it's very rare that I will go for the same foundation day in, day out. So this was a really good challenge for me to force myself to wear the same products for pretty much two weeks straight. Some did get swapped out because I was like, this is just terrible. I'm not doing it. And it was just a really fun way to get to know my collection. And at the moment I'm doing a role where I, I can wear makeup like every day to work if I feel like it and I don't sweat it off. So that's kind of nice. And I'm also doing my eyeshadow primer test thing, which is an ongoing thing. So let's just pick up products and have a chat about them. So I've got the Stila, what is this? Stila Beauty Boss Lip Gloss in Synergy. This is a really pretty color. I really like it. The packaging is cool. Man, this dried my lips out, something chronic. I could not believe it. I have... Um, to me, a good gloss just doesn't give me, like, last like a couple hours, but it doesn't dry your lips out and make them a bit crusty. I got crusty lips from this, so I kind of, I'm not a fan of it anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do with you anymore, but I'm probably going to get rid of this because it annoyed me. But I was looking forward to having, like, a nice sleek packaging lip gloss that worked really well. So because that one sucked, I ended up pulling out my So Juicy from Colourpop, and this is in Smack Dat. Oh my god, I completely get it now, why people love these so much. They do just add a beautiful gloss to your lips, a bit of color, and they don't dry them out. It's super cheap and affordable. And you can see how much I carry this around me at work because I've lost the juicy. I lost it. Now I've been wanting to play with this one a bit more in my collection. I have like eight foundations, I think. But this is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint in Terra Neuve. And um, it's interesting. I bought this because I wanted like a BB cream. I think I've got a video of me applying. Anyway, so this foundation or matte skin tint. Yeah, this is mattifying and it smells like alcohol. If you are interested in this and like, I don't know. I thought it'd be good because I'm still struggling with my pimple. So I was like, maybe we'll just dry it out. Like, why not? Let's go for it. But I found it was just so finicky. It doesn't blend out well with a sponge. Not like a brush, kind of, but it's a bit of work. It works the best doing it with your hands, which is feels very strange in this day and age to be putting it on my hands, but it really does blend in nicely with that. So it only, for me, I'm quite oily, and this only wears nice for me if I have illuminating primer underneath it. If I have used my normal mattifying primers, oh my god, it was terrible. If I use it with my pore, I did use it. I tried it out with the Smashbox Pore Refining Foundation Primer and it just, it didn't want to stick these like battled heads. So the, yeah, it's a bit too finicky for my liking, especially for what I wanted it for, which was just like an everyday foundation to wear to work that I could just slap on with no stress. This is not it. The Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Pore Minimizing. Um, I'm still not sure how I feel about these. I find that pore minimizing fan, like primers tend to just interact with my foundations a lot more. I'm sure it's something to do with the silicones, but I don't fully understand why it happens. So I just find it a bit finicky and I'm not that bothered about my pores being on display to really care too much. I think I don't really like pore minimizing primers. Let me know what you think about pore minimizing primers. Um, like, should I dabble in them some more? And for my sunscreen, I have had this Alpha H Daily Essential Moisturizer, 30%, um, SPS 30 for quite a while now. And I just really wanted to get to know it really well and use it and see if I thought it was any better than my favorite, the Mecca Save Face. And it's not, I like it, like it's okay. But I find that if this is the only thing that you put on your face that day, it will start peeling later, but it does wear nicely underneath like my all my makeup for the day. So I probably will just use it up and never repurchase it. For foundation, I ended up swapping out the NARS one for this one. The L'Oreal Infallible in porcelain. And I actually really like this. I ended up enjoying it more, not using it with concealer. Just like, because I found, I ended up finding concealer to be quite finicky for me to work with. And it wears differently to this. So 
For me, when it comes to work, I think I prefer not wearing concealer to work anymore, which is a bit strange. But I just don't have time to touch up. And this, for me, wears beautifully on my skin. And it wears down evenly. So if it's still not there at the end of the night, it doesn't look terrible. I like that bloody Nars one. So the L'Oreal Infallible in the tube. I'm a huge fan. I really like it. Um, for concealer, I pulled out... I've got the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and I actually do really love this concealer. I am wearing it today underneath, um, and for me it really lasts a long time, and what I found is that uh, if I'm doing a work look, I tend to only just do under my, under my eyes with the concealer, and I'd just be left with the concealer there, and the foundation is like, and my skin's peeking through a lot more. So it, it just wasn't that good. I see a lot of people complaining about this now being quite drying, but, I, like, I don't know, it seems fine. I've never had an issue blending it out or anything. And I really rate this concealer. Uh, it's very comparable to me to Tarte Shape Tape. It's quite nice. It's worth a try. Uh, I do always powder down my face no matter what I'm doing. And for powder, I've been testing out my sample of the Laura Mercier Translucent. So this came in our Mecca Beauty Loop boxes, which I was super excited about because I've been dying to try this one. And I found that it's just got like the three little dots in the top and it's so hard to get it out but I got the lid out and just have been dunking in it and using it so I finally got it down a little bit more because this was chockers and it's nice I like it I don't think it is like that much better than my Maybelline fit me powder though and that powder is so cheap and huge and still going strong so I'm not sure I don't know how I could go about comparing the two on a day uh, which I like I'm happy to do if it's something you'd be interested in doing but I don't think I'll ever bother to buy this. I'm very happy with my Maybelline powder, which seems so strange. There's so many drugstore products in here. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, drugstore is new to me. And the, I don't know, I've just always been like a person who likes going to Mecca and Sephora and Maya um, for like that luxury beauty experience. But it's super fun to get into a drugstore and just find some really solid products there. So yeah. For primer, because the NARS one ended up being so crazy strange and drying, I used the VDL Primer Layer. Luma Layer. The VDL Luma Layer. This is one I got in my Beautylish Lucky box at the beginning of the year. And I think I'm quite attached to it now. Wait, I would only put this underneath a mattifying foundation just because if I put it underneath like a more dewy foundation, it's just going to get really oily and it wouldn't look good at the end of the day. And I have done it a few times and that's when I haven't reached for this. I haven't reached for this primer as much, but recently using it, I quite like it. It lays really nicely and it, it's cool. And that worked quite well with the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. They went really nicely. So if you do have the Velvet Matte Skin and you're struggling, put it with like a really nice luminous primer even if you are oily and I, like I reckon your results will improve so I might keep the NARS because it goes well with that I'm not sure but I ended up did ma making it work for me so it kind of good for the L'Oreal infallible the primer I ended up putting underneath it is the new Fenty Pro Filter Mattifying Primer I think I'm becoming a Fenty girl because oh my god this is amazing I love it. It blends in beautifully. It sits beautifully underneath everything. And I felt like it really did make a difference in keeping my oils at bay. For brows, some of these products are multiple. Um, so I ended up buying the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. And I've had the Too Faced Brow Kiki, not Quickie for a while. So I ended up sort of just rotating through this. So I had like a little bit of variety. So this is got microfibers in it, which means that when you put it on like if you it'll, it's like a bit fairy and just adds like an extra hairs to your and it can be just a really easy quick way to put your brows on and then this is just like a colored gel to put in your brows I quite liked it this is very easy to go overboard with and this is not so if you want quick and easy no fuss two-faced if you're happy to do it for spend a little bit more time finessing the dip brow is quite good I like it and then I'm sorry to go back to concealer I did try out so I've got this Mac Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20 and I just found I'm not sure like who I was when I bought this anymore uh, I ended up finding it just quite yellow but it wore down quite nicely that's actually just like but I think for me just in the morning it was like just a bit too finicky to deal with the pump 
And I ended up even thinking, like, the elf camo was too finicky. Yeah, I also just found, so this is the MAC one. It was just quite yellow on me. I don't know. And the elf, ugh. I mean, the elf is a little bit lighter, but it's still quite yellow. And I don't know, I just, I realised I don't like yellowing concealer. But it's not bad. I would definitely try this in my colour, or if I get a tan, I think this will work for me. But I think it does need more of a, um, it needs a more mm, full coverage to go with it. For mascara, I tried to just keep it to the Maybelline Falsies mascara, which I don't mind. It's quite nice. Um, difficult to get off. I don't know how I feel about that. But it works. But I found that I would just end up switching out products anyway with mascara because I was like, I can't keep using the same products for everything. This is another product that I just like don't really remember who I was when I bought it. And this is the Smashbox Contour Palette. Um, it's got three colours. I tried just go dipping into it a bit more and using like the bronzer and the highlighter. I didn't mind the highlighter to put like powder underneath my eye some days. But this is not something I would buy now. I think it's something that would just stay in my collection and I'll continue to try and play with it. But I don't know. I don't remember the girl who bought this. Uh, let me know if you have products in your collection that you're like that with. Alright, and then for lips, I did try this out. So if you watch... Kit Stitch or Beauty News, they talked about these ages ago. This is the Tony Molly Lip Tone Get It. And for her, these last 24 hours, for me, they last like maybe two or three hours. It's bizarre. It's a nice color. I don't mind it. Would I buy more? No. For my face products, I decided to mix it up and I've been using the NARS Laguna Bronzer and Mini that I have. And this may look like a little bit dark, but it's actually quite nice. I don't you can blend it out really nicely. I don't always put bronzer on when I'm going to work, just because it seems like excessive. And then for blush, I've been using my NARS Orgasm. But this one actually is a pink and gold duochrome. And on me sometimes, all I see is pink. No, all I see is the gold. And it's just bizarre. So I don't think I'm really in love with NARS Orgasm. I don't know. And the one, fun, the final product, and this is the product that really impressed me of them all, is the Kevin O'Corn Candlelight Highlighter. Now when I first got this, so I bought this, this is also from my Beautylish, Beautylish Lucky bag, and I just haven't really touched it. When I first was using this, I was just putting it on with like a brush like this, and then dabbing it on. I actually, I'm wearing it right now, I think, yeah. And it just wasn't having the effect that I wanted. I did a little bit more research and it works really well with like buffing it in. So just even using one of these brushes and just like really like gently going like that along. I was also able to do it. Going like this. I can show you. So really sort of buffing it into your skin and you get such a beautiful highlighter. I'm quite a fan of this one. So I, I'm glad that I gave it some time and really gave it a chance to love. Anyway, so those are my thoughts on my shop, my stash products. Shall I choose out what I'm going to do next? Might as well. So I'm going to keep up with the Alpha H until that's used up. I quite like this work. I don't know. The L'Oreal Infallible. We're going to knock out concealers. I've had a lot of fun with the Kevin O'Corn highlighter. But we, we have we have options. So I'm going to try I can the Mecca Enlightened. I haven't given this much of a chance, and I'm curious to see how it goes. Oh, I bought this the other day. I have not spent much time with it, but I got one of the JLo bronzers from Inglot. I don't know why I bought this. Oh, I think the bronzer drawer looked a bit empty to me, so I wanted some more bronzers. I forget which one that is exactly, but I will figure it out by the end of this. And for blush, let's do... Oh, you know, I'm curious to spend some more time with the Flower Beauty Peach Primrose. I've worn it quite a bit, but I haven't... What's the best way to say? I haven't, like... I don't know, I've paid attention to how it wears and all that sort of stuff. So, those will be good to use. And then for powder, I'm going to go back to Old Faithful, the Fit Me, and see if I notice, like, any real difference between my powder usage. I'm probably going to... Maybe I'll mix it up with brows a bit more. I'm going to keep playing with those two just because I'm not I'm not sure on my like 
I like, I like, I don't think my opinion is going to change, but I'm happy to keep playing with them and see if it does change. All right. For primer, I'm going to use this a Smashbox photo finish. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. I forgot it was in my collection. I don't know how I got it. And let's see how we go. All right. Let me know if you want to see what this ends up being. I probably will change it out over the next couple of weeks just because I get bored of things. And I might change the foundation that I use. I don't know yet. Anyway, let me know if this is the sort of content you would like to see from me. It's a bit different and a bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm happy to provide it to you if you're interested. And it's giving me a really good reason to just hone in on my collection. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I absolutely appreciate it. If this is your first time here, I'd love it if you consider subscribing or at least checking me out and then watching some other videos and see what you think. Let me know you stop by, leave a comment down below. I just, yeah, thanks. Absolutely appreciate and enjoy. Mwah.